our TV ministry began, we began when both of us were delayed at the airport at Asaba. For how many hours? About 10 hours. And as we were talking, that was what produced Ambience TV. So I said, I'm going to do. He said, come and take a space on our TV station. Just flood it with your messages. I said, uh, thank you. But when you show me possibilities, I'll do it. And I think a month later, Ambience TV came out. Um, this morning, we are privileged and blessed to have him amongst us. And I want him to say a word over the house. With so much joy, I mean, welcome Apostle Mike Oropo. Give the Lord a shout. What a joy to be here this morning. What wisdom. Amazing. Some days ago, I was telling Apostle, I said, where did they get this thing from? <laughs> the dexterity in communication, the depth of wisdom, the extent of applicability is just too transforming, true phenomenon. Can we please celebrate God for raising this blessed vessel? When I listen to his clips, I get so blessed and edified and I just thank God because apart from the fact that I'm inspired and taught the word of God, I'm also happy because he's reaching people that some of us may never reach. He has a word for this generation and his messages can impact and affect virtually everybody. That level of wisdom, that level of relevance can only come by the anointing of God. Thank you so much for being a dear brother, friend that we can always connect and God is doing mighty things. Thank you, Mama. It's a joy to always be here with you. Glory to God. Can we give God a big hand for what he has done? I think you have to teach the Anakazo now for me to listen. <laughs> Imagine what God has done in a short period of time. God is indeed faithful. God is indeed gracious. I just want to pray over us this morning in line with what God's servant has shared with us. The scripture you read is just art. This thing called sexual impurity has truly destroyed kings. People with great graces, people with great destinies have been wrecked because they don't have the capacity to put the body in subjection. And what wisdom the Lord has given us this morning. I just want to speak a word in that direction. When he was rounding up, three things came into my spirit. Number one, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9, 27, he said, I beat my body and I bring it under subjection. So there is a power to beat the body. When the body rebels, there is a power to keep it in check, to call yourself back to order. If that power is not there, you will see that you will know everything, but you will still be weak. So we need that dimension of power to be able to beat the body and to bring it under subjection. The second thing that came to my spirit was the place of wisdom. And that's what you've shared with us graciously this morning. That we should know what to do at the right time. Because sometimes we neglect instructions and we neglect everything until it becomes too late. And all we are left with is regrets. We want to pray this morning for God to give us that wisdom that is needed to create defenses against the possibility of falling. And then finally... Paul said in Acts 26, 22, he said, I continue to this day because the Lord helped me. Every man standing is standing because he's helped of God. These are three things I just want to declare over us this morning. Number one, the power to beat the body and bring it under subjection. Number two, the dimension of the excellent wisdom that helps you to make only the right decisions. The Holy Ghost was talking to me some days ago and he said one of the best dimensions of intelligence is the intelligence of making choices. Can we pray this morning in another one minute? Lord, give me the power to tame the flesh. 
Lord, give me the wisdom to make the right decisions. And precious Father, grant me help when all of these things fail. When I violate wisdom, when I lack power, Lord, show up for me. Grant me help. Grant me help. Many times we are falling. God just intervenes. That's the help of God. We neglect wisdom. The power is not there, but God shows up. Father, help me. Let my testimony also be that I continued till this day because you helped me. If we are standing, we are standing because we are helped. Can we pray like people who understand that the devil is out for our destruction? Can we pray like a people who know that we are in desperate need of God's help and God's intervention? He said the devil is prowling like a roaring lion. He's not a casual enemy. He's prowling like a roaring lion. And he's not looking for who to talk to. He's looking for who he will devour. The devil wants you to be destroyed. He said the thief cometh not, but for to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So he wants to steal from you. He wants to kill and destroy you. Can we pray for that help? that intervention of God that makes the operation of the devil, the operation of the flesh useless while we fulfill destiny gloriously. Just go ahead and lift your voice in one minute. Let God see the expression of your desperation. Jacob, Isaac was speaking to Esau. He said, when you become restless, he said, you will break the yoke off your shoulder. There is a place where God will allow you to show that truly you need it. There is a place where God will allow you to show that you know that you require and you desire him. That's where intervention comes from. Can we pray like a desperate people? It doesn't matter if you are falling before. It doesn't matter if the devil is planning for you to fall. If God gives you power, if God gives you wisdom, if God gives you help, all of that will be null and void. This morning, Fire of Light Church, in one spirit, According to the utterances of God from his servant, the apostle tonight, bringing deliverance and intervention. Can we make both declarations by faith that everyone standing here will finish strong, that everyone standing here will not fail or falter, that everyone standing here will, will prevail at the end of time. Go ahead and declare. Ah. Ah, hey. Jesus father I stand in this place in faith with my brother your servant connecting to the priesthood of this house from this altar I decree and I declare everyone here that requires strength and capacity to tame the flesh receive it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare everyone that requires the excellent wisdom that cometh from above to make the right decisions that will keep him safe I decree receive that wisdom now and father for every one of us myself inclusive that will continually require your help Lord we receive that help this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Thank you, Abba Father. The Lord wants me to declare over someone. He said, dry bones shall rise again. That is the excellency of the prophetic word. The prophet saw the bones and he attested to the fact that they were indeed dry. But when the bone came back to life, they were not men. They became an exceeding great army. Because when God comes on the scene, it's better than whatever you would have been on your own effort i decree and declare over you according to the word of the lord every area of your life that death and waste has conquered receive restoration now let every dry bone rise again in the 
the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a thunderous shout. <laughs>